Three days after a vote may have killed the Barber Coleman deal in Rockford, local groups push for the project to still happen. Nikel Delgado talked with Transform Rockford. Nikel, what's their plan? That's right, Eric and Mimi. I'm told the whole idea of them coming together today was to bring awareness on how vital it is that the Barbara Coleman project goes through. I see this building twice a day, every day I have for 30 years. It's always been empty as far as I can see. South Main has become probably the main corridor to get into Rockford. So when people get into town, they see this very uh, unappealing building that it's like, wow, we're coming into a dump. I don't feel that way because I love it here. Victor Verreira and his family have lived on the southwest side of Rockford for decades. While he loves the community, he had hoped the Coleman Yards would have given it a boost. But when our visitors come, that's the first thing they see. It sets the president, so okay, this place is probably not safe, it's probably not fun because they have these big empty buildings. Transform Rockford Executive Director Wally Haas asked for others to look at the bigger picture of this development. The steeper the climb, the greater the reward. This has been a pretty steep climb here, especially the last week or so. But the reward, let's not lose sight of the reward. The reward is a revitalized neighborhood and a section of the town that has been neglected in the past being what it should be, re reaching its full potential. And that's going to benefit all of Rockford. And that's what we should be striving for. Alderman Mark Bonney plans to bring up the project labor agreement for another vote on Monday City Council. He said it is in response from a request from Rudy Valdez and Swift in order for all 14 aldermen to have a voice since one wasn't able to be there. This is a $430 million or so uh, project. I think you need to tailor a little bit more like they tailored for the Hard Rock. That was tailored specifically for that. You don't want to just take one that was from one big program to bring it to the other because there are nuances and there's differences. Victor is hopeful. Hopeful city leaders will take it across the finish line. I hope that the uh, city council can come to an agreement and we can move forward with this project that will benefit everybody uh, in, in town but also for years to come. I requested an interview with Alderman Bonney to talk about the possible re-vote on Monday. He only sent me a statement. The city council meeting is set for 545. Eric?